Nightfall here. Right back out again with some more dark and light. And today, guys, I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to tame things. Now, that might sound like a daft thing to say, but I really struggled with this game when I first started playing it and now to tame stuff. I'm used to playing things like Ark, and this was an entirely different concept. So I'm going to show you. It's super easy. And oh, we've got some bargas here. So what have we got here? Got level 20 and level 32. So all you're going to do is shoot one with these arrows and place them in the ground. And then keep walking. And that is pretty much the simplicity of it all. Now, bear in mind, I've got a bit more armor. I've got a bit more health. So I can take these hits. If you haven't, then you're going to have to find another way to do it. It can get a bit stuttering, a bit like a laggy, especially when you're served when you're trying to do this. Especially when you get hit. See that Bargas is running already? He watched. There you go, he goes down. So I can explain a bit better now. So, that was only one left. So I'm using hook arrows. You hook it. Wow, that's really bad. You hook it, you shoot it, and then you notice it's still attached to me. You then have to place it to the floor by clicking again. Then as you run away from these, the tethers will get longer. And eventually they will snap. You're going to see this guy's going to snap again. Look at this one here. Snaps. The guy takes more toe pour, basically. He gets more sleepy. Okay. So I'm going to do some more because he didn't have quite as many as he needed. That should be enough, I believe. So as we run away now. There you go. He's down. Boom. Two Bargasts. Tamed. I'm not dead. Took a bit of damage, but... I'm trying to show you guys as well. Super, super easy. So, the next thing you need to do, you need to get yourself a feeding trough. Now, in order to make a feeding trough, I need straw, wood, and twine. I already have the straw, so I just need wood and twine. So, I'm going to use the pickaxe, right clicking again on trees to get the twine. Like so. I'm going to get two because I've got two that I'm saving. I'm going to right click with the axe to get the wood. Okay, sweet. So, feeding trough. I'm going to knock two up. That's one. And that's two. Super, super easy so far. I'm then going to find my bar gas, which will probably be the most difficult part because they're just randomly over here. So there's one there. And just in case the feeding trough range doesn't quite spread, there's one there. So these guys, as you notice, you've got taming, which is how much you're taming them. Wildness, which is a taming effectiveness in, in essence, and constitution, which is basically their torpor, torpidity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run back to base quickly. I'm going to grab some stuff. And I'll show you how it all works. So I've gone and got some meat. And there are varying degrees of different meat. So in here we've got your standard raw meat. We've got uncommon meat. And then we've got rare meat. Uh, raw rare meat, sorry. There is also uh, like fine meat as well, which is like... The pristine version of it almost it's going to give you a lot better taming effectiveness and it's going to tame a lot faster so uh for this guys we've got two of them we've got a 20 and then we've got a 32 so what i'm going to do is just make it quicker i'm going to give the best quality stuff to the 32 you already see it's already taming up super super fast taming is turned up on this uh, server so don't panic too much um put that normal meat in there that's taming up as well these guys are going to be tamed in just, just a moment. There you go. Easy as peas. So both of the Bargas are tamed already. Really, really easy. Didn't take me too long whatsoever. If we look at the Bargas saddles. For this, we're going to need some hide, which I have back at base, which is fine. I can do that in a bit. That's no problem whatsoever. As you'll see when you go into your knowledge page, which is just here. You've got taming, which is initially what you need to tame these people. So you get your feeding trough. You get fur, which is done through a sheep. And then you get turkey eggs, which is done through turkeys. Uh, eventually, you get the better feeding trough. Um, and you get some summoning pools and stuff, which I've not worked with just yet. I want to see what they're like. But then you need to unlock riding. Which, once you've got taming, you can unlock that via harvesting hide from falling creatures. Crafting saddles or taming creatures. So even if you get a boar saddle, which is first, and a horse saddle. Even if you don't need those, it's worth crafting them. Because that's how you get your biggest XP boost. Then you can get your flat horn, you can get your elks, bargas, which is what we've currently just tamed, um, your spider, and your water fly, and so on and so forth. Super, super easy. In order to make your 
arrows once you've unlocked them again by range crafting it's really a case of I find it easy to use these quick ones on here it's really just a case of getting straw 10 straw 10 twine and five stone that's per 15 as well so don't make that mistake I've done this myself let me just grab some stone and show you so I was grinding for quite a while when I first started this game making loads of arrows thinking it was making one at a time and it wasn't it was making tons so here we go if I just craft one here so that minute you can see I've only got one it's five a time so my my mistake five a time that's a lot that's still a lot of arrows for very limited minimal amount of stuff so in order to make the stone hook arrows which is what you use to tame them you need charcoal twine an arrow and magic shards the hardest thing to get out of all that really well, hardest but the hardest thing to grind out of all that is your charcoal so what i tend to do i'm going to show you this back at base so what i tend to do to get charcoal the easiest i've got three forges and also i've got the campfire so for now for instance i'm going to chuck this iron ore in there and the mithril chuck some wood in there light it and start it cracking then what i will do is i'm going to nip out again and get more wood and just keep throwing it inside it get all your charcoal don't throw it away i keep mine in a box and it's right there and it's just a case of going back into your inventory go into your stone hook arrows and craft it easy as peas guys that is literally it that's a five minute tutorial on how to tame in dark and light I really hope it helps you out and I hope you enjoyed it. If you do enjoy it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button in the down there. It really helps me out with the channel. If you're new to the channel and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. And if you care to check it out, you can also check out my channel. I do dark and light series as well rather than just the tutorials. Keep us up, guys.